usually I stare intensely at the camera for like a minute <laughs> so I can get ready. <laughs> We're ready. <clears throat> yes. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Flexibility with Fran YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by Jen Wood. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and in this channel I talk about mobility, flexibility and all mobility and flexibility hacks related to climbing. Um, I'm super excited to have a guest, my first guest of the channel. <laughs> Jen has been part of the GB team for 10 years and uh, she's competed in several World Cups. Um, I dragged her in today <laughs> um, because I think it's nice to have maybe a bit more of an interactive session where I can just be the sort of person who talks about the knowledge around flexibility and get someone to do the hard work instead. <laughs> How are you Jen today? <laughs> uh, yeah, good thanks. <laughs> if you were a client, I would be sort of asking you what your flexibility goals are. So do you have any flexibility goals at the moment? Um, I'd say front split would be cool. I think this is a big weakness of mine, like getting high feet in quite bunch positions is tricky for me mm -hmm. and I've definitely noticed it at like comps where I just can't do a move because and I'm there like udging trying to get my foot up for ages so that would be cool to work towards a front split. Nice okay we can certainly do that. <laughs> client approaches me, the first thing that I do is to assess their joints and their single capacity in every joint and specifically the joints that would then help reaching the client's flexibility goals. So in Jen's case, uh, front splits, uh, I'm going to be assessing the hips of course, which is where the main movement happens. I'm going to be assessing the spine, especially the lumbar spine, the lower back, to see if there's any kind of issues there um, or like if she's just good to go and then uh, accessories joints like knees and ankles just to see how stable she is and the lower body and make sure she doesn't like crack <laughs> and the pressure um, so we're gonna start with the hips <laughs> yeah any predictions um, tight hip flexors <laughs> I reckon okay tight ankles mm -hmm. yeah. okay I'm not sure about my back okay we'll see we'll see all right and um, so let's get you down on the floor uh, so with your spine down and basically, um, all I do is to check your rotational capacity of the joint. So if you can get your knee to hip height and bend the net like this, exactly. So I'd like you to show me how much you can take your heel out without moving the knee from where it is. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, so this is what it would be your active internal rotation. Okay. I bet because you're quite good at dropping knees. Yeah. If I moved you, you'd have way more space. Oh, I'm getting crampy. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is a crampy one. Always a crampy one. Okay, do it again. Okay, perfect. And then come back to your center and then see if you can take your heel over to that side and just show me however far you can. All right, all right. This is, this is I would say, average hip mobility. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So this is external rotation. And again, I mean, in, in, a, in a front split scenario, None of these two matter ex like much because okay. you're not having to open your hip or close them this way. You'll yeah. just have to be bringing them in and extending them. Okay. But the rotational capacity is the first capacity that we want to have a look at in a joint. So I always check internal and external rotation and see if there's any pain as the client moves or if there's any like basically no mobility whatsoever. But Jen is pretty average I would say so it's a good sign and we don't have to focus about this today we we'll just look at specifically the movements that we're interested in and then proceeded to check Jen's right hip internal and external rotation and the here there was no issues whatsoever as well if anything a bit more mobility than on the left and then we moved on to hip flexion and hip extension and here's that um. she got her second cramp <laughs> and a third one as well Finally, moving on to assessment of the spine. Spine is always linear capacity first, so checking how much flexion and extension there is, but Jen showed no issues whatsoever. If you guys have been following my work for a while, you already know that I'm a big fan of warming up individual joints before we connect into multi-joints functions, and here I'm showing Jen some 
ankles and knees controlled articular rotation and you will see the hip controlled articular rotation live. Controlled articular rotation, it's a very fancy word to say that we just try and find uh, it. <laughs> It's a very fancy word to say that we just isolate movements in a specific joint and in this case it will be the hip. I always recommend my clients to do it against something that they can hold on to so um, they, they block automatically any movements from the spine and any kind of compensation into the side of the body. And I'm going to take Jen through it live so get ready to see her faces if she cramps, that will be quite interesting. Um, and then maybe you'll also like Notice the differences between how it looks and how it should feel, which is quite important. Okay, so the first thing we do here is create a bit of tension in the body. So imagine that you're squeezing your body quite hard. So exactly, like just <laughs> overall thinking about creating tension. So maybe making fists with your hands okay. and trying to stay quite um, tall and engaged through the leg that you're not working with. And you can grab hold of the pole with your other hand if you'd like. Uh -huh. Perfect. Then what we're going to do is start working with this hip. This right. one is blocked against the pole, so it yeah. can't move. You can even get your foot a little closer if you want to. And then we're going to find all of the hip movements together in a circle. So your first movement is going to drive your knee into the chest as hard as you can. Yeah, slow and steady. So imagine that you're resisting yeah. something like you're moving through honey or water a bit. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. So drive it as high as you can. Perfect. From here, keep this there. Drive your heel towards me. Nice. Give me a bit more. Yes, that's it. Now open your knee out to the side like you're trying to bond or up. So take your knee towards me. Nice. Try not to slump through the spine. Good work. Keep your knee here. Take the heel towards me. Nice. Give me a bit more. Nice. Take the heel to the bum. And then take the knee to the knee. So bring it towards the side as you open it. Find that crampy sensation. Good. And then reverse. So take the knee out first. Nice. Then knee up, and then try and find my hand as you come through. Good, 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 good. Heel up. Nice, and then down. <laughs> this is one, <laughs> okay? Right. This is one controlled articular rotation. How many do I do? Just two oh. on each side. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's find it. So one, I want you to focus now. It was really good, but you were kind of compensating a little bit through the spine. So when you were trying to get your foot up, yep. you were doing a lot of this. So think about staying nice and tall. I'm gonna keep my hands on your spine okay. and make you feel where you're moving that you shouldn't be moving from. Okay, let's get again. Nice and slow, heel out, good. Then open up, nice. Heel to the bum, try not to move from the pelvis. Good, and then back, nice. Good, up, 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 over and across through the heel and then heel up and down. Nice, good work. Okay, let's just flip around so um, they can see the back leg okay. uh, and you do the exact same thing twice. Right. When you're coming into your internal rotation, so when you're here and lifting the heel back, it's natural to want to tilt like with your spine. Try and keep this really stiff and just move from this part of the hip. So you should feel mostly here and very little there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So knee to the chest. Heel up, good, 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 and then out. Nice, heel up. Move a little bit, look, exactly. Heel to bum, and then down to the knee. Give me more, give me more, give me more. Good work, and then out again. <laughs> uh, so when uh, people cramp, it's very normal, especially at the beginning. Um, it just means that the body is not used to working in those ranges. So don't worry if you cramp once or twice. If it is very recurrent, then maybe you'd be looking at other things like nutrition and you know rest. But if it is just one cramp or two, then it's very normal and actually quite welcome. It means that we're just firing up the fibers that haven't been used for a while. So good work, Jen. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Coming up again and then up. Yeah, 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 good, good. And then drive it all the way. And then give me the heel lift and then down. Nice. Just one more. Go a little slower. I'm going to say less so that you can kind of memorize okay. the process. Hold with this hand the pole so you're not moving at all from the spine. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> and then up, out. Yep. Take the knee first. Good. Good. Heel to bum. Fight that cramp. Coming down. 
Yes, and then out again. Up, 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 up. Nice. Good work. You will now see footage of Jen trying a front split, but because we filmed this on a camera without anyone filming for us, I actually accidentally cut her legs off. Hence why you've seen a split screen where Jen is showing her front splits with me and also the day after when I realised I needed a footage again. Enjoy. Good work. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Can you come up or do you need a hand? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> nice. So this was right leg forward, left leg back, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I think this side will be worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, cool. Have a rest, shake it off. Thanks. So one thing that I've noticed um, straight away is that Jen uh, has like a, I would say a bit of a, like slightly less, uh, let's do it again. <laughs> one thing that I noticed straight away is that Jen struggles a little bit with her hip extension. So the back leg is actually the one that is stopping her from going deeper than the front leg, which is something that I also predicted because climbers are a lot more used to doing this kind of movement than doing this kind of movement. <laughs> so um, we're going to be working on that today, for sure, for sure. Okay, cool. cool. Nice. Okay, so um, this is the main, I would say, I could call it the main components, the main drills of the session. Um, I always aim for three or four, not more than that, because otherwise the body will just get overwhelmed. Um, and we're not just you, don't worry. <laughs> um, and all, we always look at uh, some accessories. So how to maybe improve, uh, you know, the hip flexion of the front leg and the hip extension of the back leg. But also we continue doing the main workout, which is getting into the splits. But we're going to structure them this way. So we're working on the hip flexion first. And what cool. I wanted to do with this is using your sticks so that you don't have to worry about balance at all. Yeah. Just want you to stay nice and tall here. Try not to look out for doing this kind of movements which is very fair on the wall, by the way. I'm not <laughs> saying that you can't, but when you're training mobility, you want to isolate as much as possible. So just get you extending the leg, yep. holding it there, and then lowering down nice and slow. And we're going to do six on each leg. If okay. you find these too easy, I've got some ankle weights oh, for you. Yay. This is to improve this yep. front leg. Then I'm going to get you down to the floor. And what I want you to do is with your sticks as well, so you don't have to lose balance, is thinking about the line of the hip. So you can check now like where my hip is. And I'm gonna ask you to try and extend your hip without lifting. So without doing any movements to compensate. Yeah. So you're gonna press really strongly through the heel and try and fight for that hip to extend and the knee to extend. Lower down, go a little further and repeat. Yeah? Until you feel like you can't move anymore, basically. Final one, which is I would say the most brutal one, but really fun to build strength and range at the same time. We're going to use uh, core sliders. So one will be for padding and one will be for working. Starting from sort of a lunge position, yep. you're going to slide all the way and then have to come back as well. So I'm not very warm. <laughs> So you could see that I was doing this with my back, but the intention is try not to like move. So just really recruiting those muscles to come back, using both to squeeze in and out. So go as far as it feels good. Sweet. And if you get stuck, don't worry. That means that maybe you've pushed a little bit too far and you can readjust it on the next one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. We're going to start with this leg. So draw it into the chest and then extend the heel. Oh. Good. And work on staying tall through that and then coming back. So come back with your leg long. Okay. Yeah. And we're going for five more. Nice. Four. Slow and steady. Three. Good work. Feel the burn? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, good. And two more. <laughs> nice one. Last one. Nice. Awesome. Cool. And a leg. Focus on that back leg. 
That front leg will extend automatically the further you go back. But I want you to just think about keeping this as low as possible yeah. and trying to find drive from the knee. Yeah? And straighten the leg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. It will feel harder when you're, when you're more compact, but yeah, that's it. So now drop your knee, take the foot a little further away and repeat. Driving from there, nice. And then take it back again. Good. Drive, extend. Try and fight to extend that as much as possible. Nice work. And down. Cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'd say that that's pretty much it. Good work. Okay, switch your leg. <laughs> Are you sure you want to thank me? <laughs> okay, this is the, the most interesting one, I would say. Um, I find them brutal. I use them as well for my own training, but they're one of the best thing in my opinion to build that sort of controlled active yeah. movements and when you're climbing you're not very 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 like rarely you can just go and grab your foot and place it somewhere right because yeah. you're like maybe over here or like really tiny thumb catch whatever and so it's important to be able to develop that active strength so these are top tip yeah. makes sense cool so the back leg doesn't <laughs> She's dead already. Uh, the back leg doesn't uh, do much work. All the, the work that it does is helps you compact back in when you come back. Okay, but cool. you want to think about driving from this hamstring, yep. so forward and backwards. And yeah, you can go onto the ball of the foot or the heel, whichever works best. Okay. See, see whatever works. Yeah, yeah I usually, okay. I'm maybe middle. You've got a it. small foot, so <laughs> fits most of it. Okay. Nice. And then I just go. Yeah. And just remember you have to come back as well, so don't overdo it. And then drive it back. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's give you the sticks for the first few. Thank you. So you can put a bit more pressure through the hands, but then eventually do it without. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So I did loads of my arms. When um, you're coming back, try not to bend the knee, but come back to where you started with your hip. Does that okay. make sense? So you've shifted forward uh, with your hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want you to bend the knee, I just want you to be able to pull back. Yeah. So this leg can stay soft, but don't bend the knee, just drive back there. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So maybe a lot less for you at the first few. It doesn't matter if it isn't, you know, really wide. Nice. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be a bit meaner. That's it, that's it. Don't worry about bringing the heel under. You can leave it a little softer and forward. Because here you're in a very comfortable position. You're not doing any work. So if you want to keep yourself under tension all the time, yeah. just get to a point where you still feel the stretch but without feeling it intense. Okay. Nice. So come back there maybe and then come forward again. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's try without sticks. All right. Nice, that's it, that's it. Yeah, perfect. And then make fist to draw the core and last one. Come back, squeeze. Nice, all right, nice. Other side. In the final two sets of the main drills, we just developed a little better support for the back knee but you can see how much further Jen can go with her back leg and then eventually for the last drill of hip flexion I asked Jen if she could handle some weights so we strapped her some ankle weights onto the ankles to make it just a little bit harder and then continue as her with the other two drills to check how much more hip extension she's getting already and how much more comfortable she feels in sliding around onto the slider Happy days. <laughs> Hello, Jen. Hello. How are you feeling now? Um, yeah, it worked. It was hard. Good. Like so um, Jen told me whilst we were training in the last two reps that she runs a lot. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> which is kind of the enemy of front splits. I'm not going to lie. Um, simply because when you're running, you tighten up all of the hip flexors and the hip extension doesn't like work a lot. 
Um, so I've decided to add a fourth kind of drill stretch, which is going to be a static stretch, and we're going to add a little bit of contraction to open up space. So it will look like nothing. It will feel pretty hard, uh -oh. um, but we're doing it on a squishy surface for two reasons. Number one, so that the knees don't get bashed. Um, number two, because the body responds better to soft surfaces. So if you train on a really hard ground um, at your limit, uh, your body will contract faster, which means that you'll go less deep. Um, so we're doing it on the squishy mats with this sort of angle here of the, seat, the seats um, so that Jen can go at her limit without, you know, resisting too much, hopefully. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so let's get into it. Let me know if you want any more padding for your knee, but it should be quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. all right. Okay. Yeah. Feel it already, yeah? <laughs> and can you sh show where you feel it? Is it uh, through there? All the way down my head. Okay, and into this part as well? Yeah. Cool, yeah, that, that makes sense. So this stretch targets the, uh, the hip flexor, but also the quads. When you're in a, in a neutral spine, so whenever it's your position, uh, you feel it more at the bottom. If I ask you to now think about sort of squeezing your bum forward mm -hmm. and tilting in, it would feel it traveling up more, right? Yeah. yeah so we want to kind of find both for front splits. Okay. So neutral is fine. And maybe you can sort of do a little bit of process of kind of once in a while, relaxing back into it and tilting back in. Um, okay. Yeah, like that. Exactly. So we've got about a minute and a half left of here. Can you handle it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good. So if I was really mean, if I was working with a client that um, wanted to improve their like active flexibility, um, and this is actually a great position to learn how to like get your foot up on the wall behind you if you're doing a drop knee or anything like that, I would ask my client, in this case Jen, to try and peel this foot away from the surface. So leaning forward maybe ever so slightly more with the chest and trying to get this foot away. And it obviously doesn't move, or <laughs> very little, but you're creating a huge engagement. <laughs> and a cramp as well. <laughs> oh, man, my honeys. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming, it's coming. Now. Yeah, yeah, just shake it off. It makes sense, it makes total sense. Um, I did spot, like, when we were doing the controlled articular rotations that Jen was struggling with keeping the engagement into the back of the legs. And honestly, that is the majority of people. And I, it was me as well when I started doing them. The more you contract in these places, the less hard it will feel and cramps will disappear eventually. Okay, so the, our minute and a half is gone. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is think about contracting where you feel the stretch. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and hold it slowly, stagger the intensity for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take a deep breath in to the belly. And then as you exhale, relax the contraction and maybe you can feel a little less tension now and maybe you can move yeah. further in. A little bit. Tricking, tricking the brain. Yeah. We're gonna do it one more time. Okay. So now we're doing contract and then antagonist contract, yeah? So okay. I'm gonna ask you to contract here and then I'm gonna ask you to contract here. So again, you're gonna to try to drive the heel to the bum. Okay, okay no, don't do it at your max, so we don't wanna cramp there again. Let's go for 10, yeah. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now try and contract this even just a little bit. Good work, give me nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now relax everything. Good. Nice. That looks good. Yeah. Let's just hold it here for a few breaths and then we'll swap the legs. <laughs> good. Big, deep breaths. And that's it. You can come out. Take a moment to pat it off, shake it out because you will feel stiff. That's yeah. very natural. And then we're going to go and test our splits and hopefully a little shift has happened. Obviously, obviously some shift purely happens because Jen's worked on the exact same ranges that we need for front split. So simply she's warmed more than she was at the beginning. But it's not just about that. It's also about finding that safe engagement where she can understand how she can move further in and probably feel a bit more solid as well in a range if it's not changed much. So we'll see. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay.
yeah, just, just go down in your splits now, see how it goes. Um, choose one side and yeah, I'll cheer for you. Okay. Hopefully it should feel at least a little easier. And if you're struggling with balance, I can give you the sticks. Yes? Nice. Okay. I feel stronger. Good. Yeah. And this leg is a lot straighter. So before it was like quite hard for Jen to bring pressure through the heel. Now she's able to hold it a bit more, which is great. Okay. This is the worst side you said before. Yeah. So let's see if it feels any better. It does look yeah, that is good. Okay. Can you extend this a bit more? Nice, that's it. Wonderful. Nice. <laughs> well done. Great. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> she survived, well, so it's well, doable. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed the session. And I hope you enjoyed seeing Jen get in cramps <laughs> all along. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, any comments? Uh, yeah, it was good. Like, exciting to see quick gains. I felt like it would be a useful thing to add into, like, a warm-up. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely feel like I got more range and, like, strength at that range as well, just in a short time. Perfect, perfect. That's kind of exactly what we want for climbers. <laughs> Um, are you going to keep one or more of the drills that I've shown you in your routine? I feel I should keep them all. <laughs> <laughs> but if you yeah. had to pick one, which one was your, like, let's say, not favourite as in, like, not the easiest, but the one that you yeah. think worked you more? Um, I like the, the lunge one where I just had to lift my leg a tiny bit. Like, it felt easy to work into a higher intensity mm -hmm. quite gradually and like an easy one just to throw in mm -hmm. quite regularly yeah without being like horrendously painful <laughs> okay great awesome <laughs> awesome thanks so much jen for joining yeah, me well thank you um, cool. yes i'll see you on the next episode bye bye